Guys, we are at Magic Kingdom and we are traveling by ferry boat, which has been selected by my Instagram viewers, which is completely new to me. And if you're new to my channel, I don't usually come this way into Magic Kingdom. Usually I get the free transportation, which is provided by Disney when you're staying on site or even if you're staying off site. But today, like I say, we're getting the ferry boat and we're gonna experience it for the first time. But anyway, guys, if you like this type of content, make sure you smash that like button. And if you haven't clicked subscribe already, hit that subscribe button and let's head to Magic Kingdom. Oh, I'm so excited. in this park, I don't know if I've told you yet, so basically I, I was working, so I, when I, even when I'm on holiday I have to work, so I'm self-employed, I work 365 days a year, if you're self-employed you get it, and uh, yeah, every day I work until like 11 o'clock US time, that's like 4pm in the UK time, so I do it every day, I get up at 3am, yes, I don't tell you this, do I, but I do every day, 3am, that alarm goes off, so I can work, <laughs> and uh, obviously I didn't want Liam sitting in the hotel, well, I'm working, do you know what I mean? So I said to him, I tell you what, you go to Magic Kingdom, you enjoy your day, you spend a lot of money to get here, and I'll meet you later in the day, and that's exactly what I've done. He's somewhere here, he's got on loads, you know, he's done loads. Well, when we find him, he'll tell you. He's got on loads of rides today, I'm so chuffed for him. Perfect timing, there's a parade on. Ah, oh, so good to be here, man. It's when you walk in here, and you see this castle, and you see all the characters, all all happy and everyone just smiling. I don't think there's any other park in the world that I've been to. I must say, I, mean, I haven't been to that many, like, but all, all the parks that I've visited, you never have anything like this, you know what I mean? This is like the most magic, most magical you'll ever feel. And there's Peter. Still one of my favorite Disney movies of all time, you know, still. And I found Liam in this blistering heat. Here he is. Bless him, he's been chilling around the park on his own for like the last couple hours. I love that. <laughs> He's literally walking around. I'm not going to tell you why, but yeah. Oh, how are you feeling? Good. You go on then, Liam. Tell us what you've been on. Big Thunder Mountain, Country Bear Jamboree, Haunted Mansion, Phil on Magic, and now, hopefully, Seven Dwarfs. Quick one. If you're wondering, how on earth has he managed to do all them rides in that short of time? Liam has been here first of all since the break of dawn, but secondly, Liam has got access to DAS, which is a disability access service um, due to his back. If anyone's interested in what DAS is, or if you want to know more information, I'm going to link it below. Um, ben used it in my last series, um, and a lot of you guys asked, what is the, you know, what is the eligibility for it? Well, I'm going to put it below. There's a lot on there to read. There's a lot. Uh, there's a lot of look through. Disney will decide if you're eligible for it. You will tell Disney your your needs and then Disney will decide if you're eligible for it. But I'll put it below and it gives you all the access and all the information that you need. I don't know about you, Liam, but I fancy a Cosmic Rays. And this is the menu, guys. So you've got the beef long, oh, beef, oh my God, can't get the words out. All beef foot long hot dog. You've got the, oh, it's just changed. <laughs> you've got the bacon cheeseburger, barbecue chicken sandwich, chicken strips. I've actually went for the Greek salad because I'm on a diet. We'll wait for it to change again. Oh, actually, kids menu. You've got uh, the barbecue, pulled a chicken, chicken strips, macaroni cheese. Oh, it's back. Burger to the moon. Was that on before? And the 1971, which is the barbecue chicken kale, slow sandwich, chili cheese fries, fountain and beverage. That's quite good, to be honest. And mine has arrived. And like I say, I'm being all good, all on a diet. And Liam is just getting his. Oh, 
I don't need it. Do you know what? I've just walked into the park and I'm eating already. Not good, not good. But when you're hungry, you're hungry. It is four o'clock, so it's not like it's uh, 11 in the morning or something. And I'm, and I'm actually going to wait here for Liam, because bless him, I'm not even going to try and get a seat, because he'll never find us. I remember poor Ben, me sitting down somewhere in this place, and then Ben spent like 10 minutes looking for me. So I'll just wait here. I think Liam is opting for a kid's meal, just because just to, just because he's not a big eater. That's the thing, like he doesn't really eat, so kid's meal is perfect for him. Come on then, Liam, what did you get? The chicken tenders and chips. Do you know what? That looks like awesome. It looks so nice. I think uh, I think a lot of people would prefer yours over mine. And it's just nice sometimes to get out the heat, even though one I've just got you. But Liam, I'm sorry, I need a chip. This diet's going very well. Them chips are amazing. Come on, have a taste test. And this video is kindly not sponsored by Disney. I've got the boring chicken salad. Who's a chicken salad person? Do you know, for me, it's just more about having things heavy around the park. Do you know, like when you're eating like heavy things? Oh, actually, before I eat it, I need to take a picture for Instagram. If you know, you know. Look at him, he's getting a picture of himself. You can't eat your dinner in Disney without taking a picture of it, guys. Hang on. The life, eh? Two seconds. Done. <laughs> Let's have a quick taste test. Give me a little salad. Now that's a bit of cheese on it though, look at that. And then, let's get a bit of the chicken. You ready? Bit of olive, bit of chicken, a bit of cheese. This is the life. Very, very nice. I do get this one quite often, to be honest. How's yours? Really good. Enjoying it. It's always an easy option for me, I find, as well. Because sometimes, when I like, come to Disney, I feel like if I eat too heavy, I'll regret it. It's always like a nice option. So Liam, your experience of Cosmic Rays for the first time, was it? Yeah, it actually was. The first time I've been in it, it was lovely. Um, quite light, so it was good. So you don't want a heavy stomach. I just had the chicken tenders and chips. The chicken tenders were like KFC, and it was so good. Yeah, I kind of like didn't give Cosmic Rays like a good shout, did I? On, on a, I think it was the January series, I think it was. It might be in the March, I can't remember which series it was. Every, do you know, every meal I've had since then, it's been really nice, and it wasn't actually the food that put me off, it was just loud. But obviously we're in Magic Kingdom, what else would you expect? And I really enjoyed that, it was really, really nice. Anyway, first ride, Seven Dwarfs Mine Train, currently a 65 minute wait. Have you actually been on this before? Yeah, 2017 trip. Did you like it? Amazing. So yeah, I just said to Liam there, the first time I went on this ride, I queued for nearly three hours with Con. And I'll never forget, it was one of the hottest days. You guys can watch it actually, it's the 2018 vlog series. I remember the song and everything that I used for the queue. And yeah, it was a hot day, pretty much like it is today. It was June, or was it? No, it was September. And oh my God, Con, if you know my vlogs, Con is not the biggest Disney fan, hence the reason why he's never here. However, he does want to come out later this year. Stay tuned for a future vlog series. Can't believe I'm saying that. I said we weren't coming back out. Maybe, maybe. If Con's pain. <laughs> anyway, yeah, he wasn't a fan of this ride at all. When I say fan of the queue, so yeah. I love this ride. He didn't. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. Yeah, definitely. This is quite a fast one, this one. Whoa. Oh my God. Ah! <laughs> oh my God, it really gets your insights, doesn't it, when you go down them gaps. Oh my God. Oh, it's bloody boiling and all. Oh. Oh. Did you enjoy that? Very much. I forgot how short it was, but 10 seconds long. Oh. <laughs> Come on, join it at home, guys. Come on. <laughs> oh, I think the ride's actually, uh, I think there's a, a jam lock up ahead. Did you enjoy that, Liam? Yes, I loved it. It's always a good one, isn't it? I thought it sounded like I wasn't happy, I did enjoy it. It's very short though, isn't it? Yeah, it is quite short to be fair, but it's still an amazing ride. Would this be naughty if I said I really fancy one of them cakes? What are they called again? I had them with Ben. Them, them big circle things and a funnel cake. funnel cake. Is that that big cake? 
with a jam on top, like the strawberries. Oof, I could just eat one of them. But then, is that really naughty to say I've just eaten a salad? And then to say, right, I want a funnel cake. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm in the world of my own. He is, I'm he's in Magic yes, Kingdom. Exactly. I'm taking it all in. <laughs> I tell you what I'm taking in. The sun rays and the heat. <laughs> It's lovely though. It is nice. It's nice. It's June. Bearable today. It's bearable today, definitely. <laughs> Wasn't bearable yesterday. Exactly, yeah. It was so hot. So hot. I want to do a bit of Christmas shopping. Now, literally, Con really would love me to take a Christmas gift home. Con's family are massive Christmas people. Like They love like Christmas ornaments and Christmas merch and stuff. So I feel like, just to make Con really happy, <laughs> And if he's no con, you know I'm winding him up. I would love to take him like a Christmas Mickey home where every year for the rest of his life we have this up by the tree. Oh my god, look at this, it's so nice. How much? $21.99. And what is this set oven mitts, isn't it? Oh. Oh my god, look at these towels. Oh, not towels, sorry, in these plates. It's a hot day, please don't judge. Oh, they feel nice as well. Oh, and there's some massive bowls down here as well. Oh, they're big. Perfect for me cereal. And here is the ornaments as well. Oh, oh these are so nice. $29.99. Oh, I know you are probably watching this in like July thinking, why on earth is Danny showing us Christmas ornaments? But I'm sure some of you will be able to appreciate these gorgeous Christmas ornaments. I think even Connor's mum would like some of these because she loves a nice ornament. But for Connor's mum, it has to be like something that means something. So like for her, if it's like a holiday, she'll get like a Christmas ornament that she'll remember for like, for years to come. And that's kind of what I want to do, especially with us becoming a family soon. I would love to buy ornaments for the tree that actually mean something to our family. Oh, this is nice. How much is this one? 24 99 so these ones are a little bit cheaper. <gasps> space, Mission Space. Oh, how much is that one? 24 99 so all these seem to be like 24 99 This one's quite not really nice. How much is this? Let's have a look. It'll be 24 99 I think they're all just 24 99 They're all really, really nice. And oh my God, look right. The pins are here. Don't let Liam know the pins are here because he'll come running over. He's actually waiting in the air con at Hall of Presidents. We'll have a quick look though for him just in case I see something that he might like. Uh, oh, he loves Chippendale. He'll probably love that. Don't know if any of you guys like that sort of stuff. It's Christmas as well. Then more Christmas ornaments over here. Let's have a look. Oh, God, they're making some noise. These are all... Are these all twenty nine ninety nine? I feel like I'm grasping. Yep, yeah, $29.99. So all these ones will be $29.99. $29.99. Honestly, them shops are awesome. Oh, Liam, just give me two seconds. My lace is going to be undone. Guys, has this happened to you? You tie your lace and it just comes undone. It happens to me all the time. I visited the Christmas store. Oh, I know. Well, you were in aircon, but don't worry, we'll get another opportunity. I was there, I was just saying to these guys, I want to buy stuff. You know that means something for the tree. You know, rather than just like random rubbish, I want stuff that like means something. We bought one tree every visit, it's like a meaningful Christmas ornament. Just a nice thing to have on your tree. That is what I mean. That's what I feel like me and Con need to do. But Con's not the biggest Disney fan. <laughs> So, but do you know what? Actually, can you remember the November 2021 series? I told Liam this when he came to my house on travel day. Still not even open me Monopoly present. Does anyone want it? <laughs> me? Oh, you just buy it. I'm not You're spending here. the money. It's discounted, I think. I think I paid 59, it's 49 now. Anyway, our next ride is Splash Mountain. I love Splash Mountain. And back to the theming of this series, guys. I don't know if you remember. No, I didn't really talk about it much in the last vlog. But we're talking about it a day again because we're back in the parks. How much of Florida can you see in 14 days? Is 14 days enough for a Disney trip? Right, well, coming back to it. You've done loads today, haven't yeah. you? Tons. Absolute tons. Obviously, I've just rocked up three hours ago, or two hours ago, and I've not really done much. I've only vlogged two rides, but Liam's been on six rides today. So it's back to that thing of, if you're willing to come to the parks early and try and get as much done as you can, then you can see a lot. So Liam, go again. Which rides have you done today? Can you remember them all? Phantom. I've done Big Thunder. You've not done Than Phantom, it's in the wrong park. Okay, it's in the wrong park. Haunted <laughs> Mansion. Well, I tell you, that would be a good series if you could fly all the way to Paris and fly back. <laughs> can you do Paris and uh, Florida in one day? Go on, carry on. Um, Phil R. Right, just to confirm, if anyone doesn't know what Phil R is, Phil R Magic. Oh, nice. 
Um, seven Dwarfs. Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. Um, We're going to do Splash Mountain. Splash. What else? Have you done... Have you done uh, Big Thunder Mountain yet? Yeah, I've said Big Thunder. You've done Big Thunder. Big Thunder Mountain. You've done the Carousel? No. Country Bears, Jamboree, I went to Country, country Bears. Well. Have you done Peter Pan? No, I haven't done Peter Pan. <gasps> yeah, that's criminal. You've got to do Peter Pan on a Magic Kingdom day. We wouldn't get a chance to do Magic... Well, sorry, we wouldn't get a chance to do Peter Pan now. We are just waiting for our Lightning Lane for Splash Mountain now. But yeah, this is the thing. Liam's been here for nine hours. So if you come early, you're going to get a lot more done than what you're going to if you rock up like with me at two o'clock. But that's the thing. I'm quite happy, honestly, guys. I'm quite happy to, to do two rides a day. But... Yeah, that's the first little drop. So the thing with this ride, guys, without ruining it, is there's about four or five drops. And the bigger the drops get, the more wet you get. So that's number one. We didn't get wet. That's good. Oh! oh God. Nearly. Oh! That literally would give me nightmares. Oh, look at the cute little bunny. Oh. And there's that evil fox. Don you, you fox. Who's a fan of foxes? Again, look what this little fox, evil fox, is doing to this poor little bunny. And in the words of Miley Cyrus, it's the climb. Again, look at the little bunny. Oh, and here it is, guys. Are you ready? Good. Oh well. Are we a bit wet, Liam? Yeah. Liam's soaked. Splash Mountain, Liam. Awesome as always. I am. I'm sad to see it go. Well, be rethemed. But obviously, I understand why. But it'd be good to see when it's rethemed as well. Do you know what it is for me? It's quite a long ride. It's one of the longest rides I think at Disney. I would love to know the actual ride length. It must be at least ten minutes long. Yeah, possibly. We have just seen the best thing, haven't we, Liam? Yeah. Characters dancing with, with crowds again. That honestly to me is like everything we've all been through and I don't want to like drag this out into a sob story but everything we've all been through over the last two years regardless if it's in Disney or if it's out of Disney whatever you love, your hobbies, your interests, whatever you love it's probably been affected by what everyone went through over the last two years and to see that again, to see things in back back to normal. Everyone having fun. And just Everyone having fun, characters dancing, the kids having the best time of their lives, people cuddling their favourite characters. As much as it's not really something that I would do personally, it's so nice to see people so happy. People just living their best lives again and that's all people want. That's all like anyone wants really now. Is we've all we've all gone through we've all lost something we've all went through something over the last two years whether it's losing family or it's job losses or it's financial issues or everyone's lost something like we lost family relatives and to see that things back to normal was one of the nicest things I think I've ever seen actually makes it a bit soppy to be honest because it's just so nice to see that again things back to some sort of normality back in life yeah And me and Liam are tempted for snacks. And I think I'm gonna get, I was thinking about getting one of these bad boys, like the hot dog, but I'm not gonna do it to myself because I'll just feel minging. So I think I'm gonna get one of the frozen beverages. Now, that cola cola looks really good, but I'm thinking about the Fanta Blue Raspberry. Something like tropical sounds right up my alley right now. But I must say, man, that hot dog. Let me know in the comments, what would you go for? A frozen beverage or a big, dirty, stinking hot dog? Let me know in the comments. I tell you what, let's get Liam's reaction. What would you get, Mr. Liam? The frozen Coca-Cola. Sounds amazing. And is that what you're gonna get? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> Just get it, you only live once. And this is it in the flesh, and Liam got the Coke is good, yeah? Oh, amazing. It does look good, mind. Does it taste just like Coca-Cola? I thought so. Oh, we're just having a seat. Said to Liam, because he's, his back's really playing up, isn't it? I said, let's just take a sit, you know. Let's not rush. 
But I'm such a lovely day. The least thing you want to do is go home and literally be struggling to walk, you know what I mean? And that's the thing I will say again, because obviously we're talking about how much can you do at Disney in 14 days. And I'm really enjoying filming this series because this sums up a Disney holiday. Do you know it's really interesting actually just sharing your guys' thoughts? I'm not going to name names, but like we know of other people who are out here traveling as big groups. And it's hard when you travel as big groups and you and everyone's kind of got things that they want to get done and it's not easy to get everything done. So you've just got to kind of take your time, do you know what I mean? And you've just missed, we've just been chatting to the DVC team and uh, Liam has an appointment on Saturday 9 a.m. Liam's been thinking about doing DVC for years. He's always said when he comes here, he'll then do a, do a tour. So, bless him, he's, he's pretty much, he's like I was back in November, he's always wanted it. And I've kind of been like the devil's advocate, are you sure you want to do it? Obviously he'll do, he'll speak to them on Saturday and make sure it's definitely for him. If anyone's interested in DVC, I'll put the uh, link below actually, uh, you guys can check it out. I get asked all the time, one of my, probably the most asked questions is, is DVC worth it? Ask us tomorrow and I'll probably say yes, ask us today and I'll probably say, probably yes again. Ask us when I'm home and I'll probably say, it's one of them things with DVC, it's a big commitment, but it's just awesome just having, being able to come and not have to pay for accommodation. I know you've already prepaid. It's a long thing, I'll put the link below anyway. Anyway, Liam's looking at some pins. Come on, then which ones do you like? I love this one. I love, love, love this one. I'm mm. awesome. They are nice. Yeah. How much? That's 12 99 that one. This one is... Also $12.99. Do they not like do like a buy one get one free? <laughs> that would be very nice. That would be amazing. You need to do that. <laughs> so I can buy more. And now we are heading towards to watch the fireworks. Now this is not we, what we were planning. We were actually planning on originally heading to Universal, weren't we? Yeah, there's a lot of change. Today. There's a lot of change today, but you know what? This is what this is the sort of Disney trip I love. You may remember my series back in January, Winging Disney. One of the best series I've ever done. And the only reason why is because I didn't come out yet with a full-blown itinerary. I came out yet and I just winged it. And it's, well, it was one of the nicest things I did. And I, I'm that sort of person. Don't get us wrong, I love an itinerary. Obviously, because of park passes, we have to pre-plan. I get it. But I just love coming out and just going with the flow. Like, and Liam's just like that. It's just go with the flow. And we've just had an amazing day. We were planning on going to Universal. We're going to meet up with Lisa. Unfortunately, the heavens opened. And it didn't stop raining for about half an hour. We were kind of trapped. And I know some of you are watching us thinking, I was just running the rain, honestly. Even the monorail was down because the thunder. So we've just ended up staying in Magic Kingdom. And like, we're just going with the flow. We've had the best conversation with a DVC agent who was like so kind, wasn't he, Lehman? Yes. He's probably anyway. going to watch this video. And he was, was Kyle, it? Kyle, yeah. we love you, Kyle. <laughs> you are amazing. <laughs> and so thank nice. you so much for staying over your shift because, bless him, I think he was meant to clock off like half an hour and we kept him. <laughs> and um, yeah, Kyle, awesome. Honestly, it's such an amazing, it's so lovely. The cast members in Disney Man are amazing. Sport of Kyle. And now we're meeting up with my friend Robin. You want to watch the fireworks? <laughs> that's it. That's a day at Disney. That's a day at Disney. <laughs> I just love being here. She was out there alone on the highway. She had a broken wing, she's trying to hang. I was much too old to act on a feeling But then again I ain't never had someone to hold I wrote songs for a mockingbird Take them all, leave them, I know that she heard Songs for a mockingbird Looking at me, she sang it That is us out of Magic Kingdom. Did you have a good day? Awesome day. We got so much done, didn't we, in Magic Kingdom? So much done. In regards to like doing Disney in 14 days and how much can you get done, is 14 days enough? I have said in later vlogs, we are starting to feel the pressure now. But for in regards to Magic Kingdom, we did very well. Very well you did, because you were there hours yeah. before me. Pretty much halfway through the trip, so I thought this would be a really good opportunity to just talk about how we're feeling. Are we tired? How's the heat? How's the weather? 
I'll ask Liam first, how are you finding the heat out here, Liam, at the moment? Moment. Very, very hot. Yeah. yeah. It is, just be prepared if you're coming in like June, it is very hot out here, very humid as well. It is, and also, um, what I've found this trip as well, is I found it really hard to like get up in the morning and to really get going, because it's so hot and you're so drained the day before, the next morning, you feel a bit, I don't know, it's just, you just feel a bit, ugh, a bit sluggish. I think just day after day in the parks, it is hard. We have took, like, we, are, we have been going to the parks later in the afternoon rather than the morning, just because if that's been all day in the heat it is it has been really really hard Liam how have you found the parks compared to five years ago I suppose that's a good question how have you found it what's been the key aspects and differences you've noticed it's a lot busier but right and that's because of the great unpleasantness everyone's now rebooking but the wait times are a lot a lot higher and, cute. and it's just busy in general yeah yeah we are we have found the parks to be a lot busier but still really good. This is the thing, it depends what you're coming to Disney for. If you're coming to Disney to try and ride every single ride in these parks, you may struggle with that, especially if you're coming in June. But if you're just coming just to get out of the, just on a holiday, you, you, you really want to ride certain rides, but you're quite happy to miss one or two rides, then I wouldn't worry at all. And even if you want to ride everything, I believe it is still possible. You just have to queue for it and you just have to spend longer days in the parks. And I suppose only you guys can decide of how much you actually want to do on your trip to the aspect. Because that's what I will say with Disney, the park lengths are open for like, Magic Kingdom's open 8 a.m. to 11 p.m. every night on this trip. Um, Ma uh, Animal Kingdom has been open 7.30 till 8.30, um, 7.30 in the morning till 8.30 at night. Hollywood is like 9.9 9 and Epcot is 9.9. 9. So they're, they're all like at least 12 hour days that you can do in the parks if you want to try and cram everything in. And then obviously the later it gets, you find the queue times go down, unless it's like Rise of the Resistance or like something like that. But most of the time the queues will go down. Actually though, we did find on Splash Mountain, which you guys didn't see because I didn't vlog. We went on Splash Mountain twice in this vlog, but I didn't vlog the second time. It was 90 minutes, wasn't it? Mm. For But the reason for that was because what ride was down? There was a ride that was Big down. Thunder. Big Thunder yeah, Mountain was down. But anyway, guys, if you've enjoyed this vlog, make sure you smash that like button. And if you haven't clicked subscribe already, hit that subscribe button. I just want to say a huge thank you to my Patreon members. Patreon members get access to early vlogs, early content, and things like that. If you'd be interested in Patreon, the link is below. And then make sure you tune back in the next vlog where we will be heading to Hollywood Studios and doing an evening in Hollywood Studios. I'm so excited. What rides do you want to do in Hollywood? Um, definitely Rise. Need to do Slinky Dog. Um, and possibly Mickey Minis. Hopefully we'll get them done, guys. To find out if we get them done, make sure you tune back in the next vlog. And see you soon, guys. Bye. 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 See you soon. I think the air uh, died well and truly out the window. The uh, the nasty people are coming over. The, I, the first time I went on that, I didn't really expect. I wouldn't say I didn't expect much. It would be a bit harsh, but. Oh, I taste it. What's your thoughts, Liam? Big time. <laughs>